guys this is Jerry welcome to the channel in this video we're gonna go show you all the features about this Kia Sportage LX plus this is either the petrol or diesel it's gonna be the same function uh, this is a New Zealand or Australian version just in case you wonder that uh, this is just one higher spec about the base model uh, I'm not gonna show you all the exterior features seats and all that things because I have done the video on that and um, I'll leave the link down below Today we're going to show you everything about the middle screen because that's only the difference. In case you would like to purchase one of these vehicles, uh, you can contact us at Abipukui and that's our website, abipukui.co.nz. We're in New Zealand, Auckland by the way. This is how the interior looks like. So I've done all the videos about the um, assistant driving systems and all your music control, your windscreen wipe, all your indicator, everything on that. So please make sure you check out my the other video about that uh, today we're gonna only show you this particular panel plus all the direct buttons underneath uh, because those are the major difference between this and the LX um, in New Zealand so that's the major difference basically so first we're gonna quickly show you the bottom part because these are the most important one it might be confusing uh, but this is how the new screen new new features looks like first touch this button you are able to shift into two different panels so first one on the top we get this sort of navigation view look so now the left switch allows us to push on and off for the power for the music everything and it can use as a volume button so left and right allow you to adjust the volume up and down then we still have direct buttons for the front windscreen rear demister and the climate controls um, auto uh, so we switch on auto basic on climate control uh, recirculation and non recirculation once you tap this button it will shift automatically back to the air conditioning panel by the way press this button again it brings us back to the uh, direct buttons for our music control or map control first one is map allow press the map it goes to direct uh, to the direct information for the navigation I have navigation guidance start button for your start control depends on whichever you set it'll go into your setting menu basically track control radio control media control setup those are the things that you're gonna have basically for your uh, information and fire and tune that allows you to go left and right change different either menus on the up and down or your radio stations up and down sort of thing and if you simply shift this press this button it's gonna shift it to air conditioning control in which we can control the fan speed and we can control these four buttons remain the same low or high that's your indication for the um, for the air conditioning temperature again this is on the passenger side we can use this to control the driver side sync allows us to control all together if the sync is off now I'm gonna control the driver side it's two different temperature per sync they are both connected together fan speed this is a very small button but that's how you change the fan speed you can also press this button to change the so the fan control either on the top at the bottom at the front windscreen at the bottom all that things it's up to you ac to turn the ac on basically so these are the quick buttons for the air conditioning control simply tap this button you can shift in between that's how you quickly shift this it can, can be confusing from the start first time you use but should be easy once you get used to that now we're gonna go into the whole display panel and slowly going through all the features so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the home button we're gonna see all this display here I'm gonna follow all these displays and go into different um, steps and different part of the uh, video you are able to click the um, time steps down below that allows you to go into different if you know already know everything about map don't worry about that just skip forward to keep checking the other things all right let's dive into it first one we're gonna see this is the display menu so left and right that's your home screen or your quick information at the front uh, you are able to click this button to change different users to change to guest and all that things so pretty much memory or setting against some things if you like otherwise confirm that it will go back to the different drivers basically just like this and after that we go back to home screen at any time you just press this button it allows you to go back home screen and there for right hand drive it's quite frustrating it's actually quite far from the other way on the top but there's nothing you can do about it press this menu you can also switch display off that means your music still can play at the background but you don't have to have the full screen on so when you drive in the dark you don't have to see everything and edit home icon this is only available when you're on home screen press this button allows you to drag and control different uh, different sort of icon positions for example press and hold 
drag it to the second that allows us to change the map to the second instead of the first so again that's up to you you can also do two screens if you need dragging everything else on the second screen and other than that just go back last one is menu so you can click the menu you can check your menu all that things you do need to scan the qr code you go into the key menu uh, information that allows you to see everything and we're just gonna go back to the home screen so next one map so that's basically our map display so again these because the mid, um, the bigger screen on this one we are gonna see the full view on the big screen anytime you can have the separate screen uh, split screen by the way this is what you what it's called so in the split screen you can go up and down to change the dif different displays depends on which you select just see the time campus or digital radio and all that things whichever you like in case you don't want it just press the arrow button on the right hand side whenever you're in a different screen that allows you to see full map basically or full display for your radio stations that's easy and uh, in the map if you do want to change anything for the map view the first button will allow you to work so basically this is the north direction but your vehicle direction is going to be on the other side press the view button again this is a 3d but vehicle direction or 2d vehicle direction so again up to you my favorite is 2d so but it's up to you to choose change whatever you like next one navigation volume you can change left and right to, to adjust your volume left and right basically for your voice for your notification for your prioritize everything then we'll display in small seconds you can also zoom in zoom out if you like um, depends on how you want the display to be small or big yep next one we have menu so that allows us to change or select different things add anything to add to your spoke you can see it's your nearby point of interest uh, places of interest actually uh, you can see your traffic and show traffic as well in New Zealand there's not much so, so much going on so you don't see any traffic I think yeah you don't see any traffic unfortunately and um, press this that allows you to search your address basically so you can search POI again places of interest you can search address you can just search coordinates as well and for example if we want to search let's say number 10 King Street Pukui well we need to just press 10 King Street and then Pukkoe. So again, if you have searched this address before, you'll, you'll see the research result over here. Um, but if you haven't typed this address, you just have to type a little bit, uh, as much as you can, to get the accurate address. So hopefully we are correct. Click OK. Now you can see it's searching. Now there's only one result come here, but if you only search 10 King Street, they're gonna have a full list of King Street in New Zealand basically. But we have now secured select 10 King Street, or we need to just press this button. And you can see this is 10 King Street over here. If you want to set as destination, you can just press this button. You can add it to address book, you can do parking, all that things. Otherwise, easy to select as destination. You can see this recommendation to go up and down with the alternative as well. If you're happy with that, just press start the guidance. Start there now. we go. The navigation starts now, just like that. If you do want to cancel it, just simply press cancel route. Now it's cancelled. Just like that. And yeah, so that's how that works with the street address input. And I think that's pretty much it. There's nothing. Yeah, that's pretty much about the navigation. And yeah. And press home. Oh, sorry. Unfortunately, I accidentally clicked the auto aircon. So next one we have navigation menu. So in this you can change all your navigation menu. You can do search. You can do other things as well. Uh, you can even do your favorites. You can even select your home. Press home. Then you can do address input. So it's all direct buttons for your navigation input. So in case you don't want to tap, you you've been typing this address before. You, all you need to just press this. Um, Go to navigation and press this all the thing, information and you can even see the key at your trip. Again, we are in Pukui. Cool. Next one, we have the phone connection. So all you need to do is connect your smartphone is basically add new device and search the new device. Open up your phone, have your Bluetooth on, search Kia and you can see the Kia um, sort of uh, connect to smartphone as well. I've done that video in the other, uh, I've done that process in the other video, by the way, in case you want to do that, check the other video. Otherwise, cancel it, then that's fully cancelled. You can also do your phone protection. So if your phone supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in wireless way, all you need to just uh, connect this smartphone with the Kia again, then go to your uh, connect the smartphone and allow the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wirelessly. Then you can display your Google Map and your Apple Map, your uh, your 
Android Auto screen, everything on the phone. In case your phone doesn't support wireless charging, a wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you'll find these USB holders over here. Um, so these two will be um, for your connection, basically USB-A or Type-C. Underneath, voice memo, this is to re um, remember, uh, sort of uh, detect your, vo store your voice and all that things. It's not something I would use in a vehicle. Otherwise, climate, we have all the climate control display on the top. Again, you have quick display at the bottom. You can change sync, you can change AC, temperature on the side. You can change your direction, left and right, uh, up and down. You can change your auto to be low, to medium, or to high, whichever you like. Otherwise, press the uh, fan speed, it would cancel the auto, by the way. So, and you get climbing settings for other small things, activation on washer, full use, auto demutify, defrog, and auto defrog, all that things. That's all the things it just ultimately does its job. You will be able to select that if you like. Next one, we have the radio control. So radio control allows you to select your quick radio settings at the bottom. That's your favorite stations. Press this to go to AM or FM. I'm gonna mute this button, by the way. Uh, so we have station list to choose. You can see all the station list around this area. Um, and you can save all the radio stations as well. If if the starlight is sort of lighted up, that means you have saved that one in your favorite stations. Other than that, go back. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's pretty easy to work on these video stations. That's the easiest way. Next one, media. When your phone is connected, you can use Bluetooth. So Bluetooth audio will light up. Otherwise, Android Auto or Apple CarPlay will light up. You can also use USB video, USB music through the bottom, the USB A, by the way. We also have a cool feature called Nature Sound of, Sounds of Nature that's available on most of the new Kias. Uh, so you can change, you can listen to all these nature of sounds and go up and down as well. So in case you have one, want to have a white noise for the for the young passenger at the back. And another cool feature, we'll have a quiet mode. So that basically uh, only had the front speakers and then you can listen to just slow, quiet music at the front. So you can engage that by pressing that button. Cool. Information that allows you to see information about traffic and so that. Um, not something really useful have your smartphone available anyway most of the cases menu again you can scan these to go to your menu and settings that's where all the major things are so the first one is you have vehicle settings so there's a lot tons of to talk about in the vehicle settings first one is the driver assistance so you can now see all this information about driving assistance we have full collision warnings the limit to everything so if you do want to change anything all you need just click one button and we'll go into the full collision warning but let's go to the top and talk about the first thing speed limiter so the vehicle has a safety feature will be able to use its sensor at the front and read out the speed signs for you so you can then display you can have a vehicle speed limiter warning so basically display your speed limiter on top of your digital display over here at the moment we're not driving so it shows bars instead instead of the speed but if it picks up speed uh, at 100 120 80 whatever it's going to display on your dashboard tell you that your speed limit is 100 in this area for example you can switch off if you don't like need it otherwise leave on speed limit warning so that's quite handy you also get a speed limit assist so it give you that sort of break not break it's more like a limit throttle response to doesn't allow you to drive over that speed limit basically and that's not something most people prefer to be fair because your speed rating is not what the speed you want to drive on or, or sort of thing you, occasionally you may want to overtake or something like that so personally i think the speed limit warning will be okay enough for me and you can have tolerance as well so if you let's say you press plus five what that means is it's going to display your speed warning on the top but um, the vehicle will also give you that small warning when you reach over five kilometers by what after that speed limit otherwise 10 after those but minus 5 minus 10 basically again that's totally up to you i'm okay with 5 or 5 or 0 but again that's up to you warning time so that's basically your pre-clear warning all that things for the driver that's normal at the moment you can do later as well either up to you warning volume so volume will be medium so you can hear the volume at just medium otherwise you can switch it off switch it on Haptic warning, so basically that's your steering vibration for any of the driving assistant forward safety systems. So that's that you get vibration on the steering behind. Next one, 
driver attention warning so that's basically your uh, lead vehicle departure warning so this means we will give you a notification when your vehicle in front of you moved off but you didn't move to give you a small warning like that swirl warning so in case you you need a little bit more attention or anything like that it'll give you this warning so these things are pretty easy explanatory uh, you don't need to worry these things about it so that's pretty easy next one forward system warning so we have active assist so basically in case you like this crushing something someone it'll give you a warning plus give you emergency brake if you don't like it you can just do warning only but personally i like the active assist land safety so that's switch so basically that's assist at the moment that means before you crash before you go over your landmark in left and right over 60 kilometers per hour the vehicle give you that steering assistance so every time you switch on the vehicle you can now see this sign over here that's great that means the function is not engaged just yet uh, if you do want to if you do want to have it engaged you have to drive over 60 kilometers for the vehicle to give you that warning or assistance uh, in case you want to switch it off once you switch on the vehicle you just press and hold this button that will switch it off by the way for a quick switch otherwise a light touch switch on the um, steering assist just over there you can see that so the vehicle will give you the steering assist otherwise press it single touch that switch off the steering assist press and hold now the land keeping and the land departure warning switch off now you can see that's automatically switch off it's up to you to see if you just want the warning or you want assistance or you want the land assist by single tap this button so that's totally up to you blind spot detection that's your um that's your wimmeru um the warning on your wimmeru so that's all basically on the, at the moment yeah so i think that's gonna be most people gonna be on um parking safety that's on at the moment auto pd warning so that's parking distance warning so when you get close to something at the front automatically that will switch on automatically switch off uh, when you go go on high speed basically at low speed it will give you a warning rear traffic course alert that give you a warning when someone's crossing behind you so again these are pretty simple features you shouldn't worry too much about it i think most people are gonna be able to have it on cluster so that shows your cluster for the digital speedo at the front on the driver's side you can change your uh, we're gonna switch on the vehicle otherwise the vehicle give us all the warning about that discharge battery so we're gonna go back we're gonna look at the cluster so you can change your burners up and down you can change your blue light filter you can use that just so you have slightly better brightness overall uh, when yeah uh, otherwise you can do um, exterior car camera use obviously you can um, you can click that off or click that on even if you don't want it basically if you, if you, if you want it uh, you can see your content selection you can see your service interval you can see your select scheme as well uh, so that allows you to see everything um, up and down for the scheme or link to drive mode or uh, same A, same B all that things so you can see the display different colors in there so yeah nothing to nothing needs to be stressed i think you're going to be okay with that climate you can see your climate options internal circulation lights you can see your headlight flash you can see you can see your turning lights uh, one turn touch you can see your headlights timer on and timer off so that basically when you switch off switch on the vehicle it'll give you 15 seconds of the headlights so you can see your driveway Hit high beam assist so automatically it will switch on high beam when um when basically uh, when the vehicle is in the dark basically and when when the incoming traffic or you are following the vehicle with brake lights or anything like that the vehicle will switch off the high beam for you so that's quite handy doors basically auto lock you get enable on speed so if you don't want it you can enable on shift enable on speed that means when you drive to a certain kilometers per hour the vehicle sh uh, shuts off its um, sort of shuts off central locking otherwise when you're shifting to drive automatic in um, automatic locks the doors otherwise you can switch it off the speed key unlock so basically when you put the key out the doors unlock itself otherwise when you put on park the doors unlock itself again you can do that on your own remote window control that only works on the driver's side as far as i know in this in this vehicle that means you press unlock button and the vehicle will unlock um, the sort of wind down the driver door window press that lock button it will wind up the driver door window in case you want to have a little bit more air fresh air before you jump in the vehicle convenience 
we have rear occupant alert. Basically, when you switch all the vehicle on the dashboard, it's gonna tell you check rear seats. Again, if you like it, you can have it on. So we'll always give you this warning. Welcome mirror. That means when you get close to the door, the welcome the mirror opens up. Basically, auto rear wiper when you put on reverse. When you when you when when you um when your windscreen wiper is switched on auto, it will give you a rear wiper it'll wipe basically a few times, so you can see your see at the back. So that's the vehicle setting. Otherwise, we have navigation setting. You can set up all these things about display, about guidance, about alerts. I don't think I need to go through that. You'll be okay with that. Sound, um, that's your premium sound. You can see your dependence volume control. So that means when your speed goes up and down, your, your volume also goes up and down. Depends on where you go. Uh, volume limitation on startup. You can have it on, so it automatically lower the volume when starting the system. It's yeah, in case you scare yourself out, basically. Um, I don't think it's necessary. Position, you can change the position for the speakers to central or to forward, backwards, left and right. Otherwise, press the central, go back. Equalizer, you can personalize this. Depends on how you like it. You can go center if you like it. Guidance, um, sorry, the driving guidance. You can do navigation, sort of um, depends on where you want the navigation volume to be on and off during phone calls, all that things. Radio noise control, you can change to radio noise control to see, to, to get less sort of noise in that radio noise. Um, I think mild or original will be okay. Driver assistance warning, so you can see this warning volume, you can change all the things. Connect device, you can change your, your connect device for Android or one Apple CarPlay, delete or connect them if you like. And phone connection, again, that's basically you can connect your smartphone, so you, you can change your smartphone connection in the setting menu. And profile, you can change your, all your profile at the moment on guest. You can reset the guest, you can you can change guest, you can do whatever you like. That memory is your sort of the information or information screen, memory is your air control, all that things. And theme, we've already done that. That's um, so screen saver. Basically, when you switch it off, it's an analog, uh, analog, uh, analog clock, or digital clock, or none. Or when you do split screen, you can go up and down for your right hand screen to go radio, map, and compass, or clock if you like. Basically, uh, display that's basically how the brand is. Again, we've already done that in the other settings in the vehicle settings. Buttons, so that allows us to change personalize this star button either here or either in the navigation here. So that's your direct buttons. You can do a phone projection that goes into Apple CarPlay or Android all, or go into the quiet mode, display on off. So it depends on what you personalize with this button. You press this button, it's gonna go into that display basically. Uh, so that's your navigation button that's here. That's your steering button. It's on the driver's side. It's on the driver's steering. And mode button that allows you to change different things uh, when you press the mode button on the steering. So that allows us to basically ch shifting between these these mobile devices or this music playing all the things. So that's pretty much it. General, you're gonna have the system information, your data, your date information. It's on GPS at the moment, but if you do want to manually adjust it, press this button. Go up, press this thing. Go up and down to charge it. Otherwise, GPS will be okay. Um, yeah, you can do daylight time, daylight saving or no daylight saving, up to you. Um, I think that's pretty much all about this function. Um, I hope it's easy to memorize, easy to understand. Um, the system, whole, whole system is pretty easy to use. Uh, you got all the direct buttons on the steering over here, or the direct buttons underneath. Yeah, I think that's it. If you do have any questions, leave a comment down below, as we said. If you're interested in purchasing one of these or any of the Hakia, any of the MG, any of the Volkswagen, any of the M, um, Nissan, dealers, Nissan vehicles, you can contact us at Abit Pukoi. We are in Auckland in New Zealand and you can also contact me. My name is Jerry. My email is jerry at abit.co.nz and I will leave uh, all the comments, everything down below uh, in the description. So if you do want to know that, let us know. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe subscribe to my channel as well. That would be really helpful. That's hugely appreciated. And uh, we will see you in the next video.